Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to transfer the videos from the camera to the computer here. Save up space. Uh, also, I made a few adjustments to the position of the camera to try and get rid of the uh, lines on the screen there in the previous videos. Uh, hopefully it fixes it, but if it doesn't, I really don't have enough room to back this camera up anymore, so... Uh, so if that doesn't work, then I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I could fix it, but... Well, there it is. So, anyway, enough of that technical stuff. Let's just get on with the playthrough, shall we? Alright, Copernico is looking kind of worried here. You are right. The master intends to kill you. I will not let his bullying stop my research. Tonight there is an eclipse. I intend to chronicle it. But the master hunts for you. Better to die enlightened. Than to live in ignorance. Huh. Words to live his by. Or die by in his case. Yours. So this guy's willing to risk his life to study a lunar eclipse? Eh, well, who am I to judge? I mean to each his own, right? And I think that helped with the Lines a slight bit. Just let me make just one tiny little adjustment here. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm trying to get the video to be completely aligned, but for some reason it doesn't want to cooperate. That do it. Ugh. Still looks crooked. Oh well. It's really hard to calibrate this thing. Where am I going? Sneaky, sneaky. Whoops held down the A button too long again. So anyway, if I kill the guy who's going after Copernicus, does that mean that that would be the last mission? If it is, then this is a really short DLC. I mean, it's only like an hour of gameplay, but I guess since you consider that the DLC was free, then you, you really can't complain. I mean, if, if I'd actually had to pay for this, I would have been kind of mad, but since it's free, it's all right. But who knows? I, I honestly have no idea what's going to happen, so for all I know, it could be a decoy, and then we'll have another five to ten hours of gameplay trying to find the real master, whoever he is. I mean, for all I know, the master could be the bed intruder. And seriously. There you are. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is way too easy. This can't be it. I call shenanigans. Silencing the truth will not stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. I have sent my best man to find Copernico. Yeah, I knew it. You are already too late. I knew it. It was too easy. Bitch. Hang on just a second. I think I may have found a way to fix it. Whoops. Oh crap. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked a better time to do that. Now that looks ten times better on my camera. Like, because there are curves and stuff on it. I think it was because I didn't have the camera, like, completely straight on with the screen. Get out of my way. Alright, return to Copernico. Now we're done with the calibration nonsense. At least I know I've got it at least decently straight. Do, 
do 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 do. I'm just glad I got the, the best armor in the game from the uh, layers of Romulus, so I don't have to repair that stuff. The, the reason it looks like the Ultair armor is because, I'm going to be completely honest, the armor you get from doing the layers of Romulus in this game looks completely ridiculous. I hate it. That's why I uh, enabled the Altair's armor outfit thing to cover it up, because it really does look stupid. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they made it. I'll show it to you later if I have time. But right now we gotta go save Capernicus. C Capernicus's butt. Why do I have so much trouble pronouncing that name? There's an Architects Guild? Did they have a guild for everything back then? They had a... Hooker's Guild, a... Stamp Collector's Guild, a... Pimp Guild? Well, I, I wouldn't doubt if they had a Pimp Guild. Which way am I going? I wasn't paying attention to the mini-map. Why do you keep... People keep asking if this is illegal. I'm just running on rooftops. I'll admit it's weird, but I wouldn't say it's illegal. Isn't it illegal to be acrobatic? Here we go, fastest way up. Or not. The heck is wrong with me? The assassin has almost reached Copernico. Kill him before he hurts him. Oh crap, where is he? Where, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. I don't see him, where is he? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? There you are. Oh crap, that's him. That's him. No, stay away from him. Oh, no, you don't! And you die. Just kill these guys with the crossbow. Is the world not marvelous? Some of it. You should not be so emotional. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Cesare thinks himself the center of it all, but he circles the periphery with the rest of us. And did you know that the sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe, not the Earth? Well, technically the I sun is the middle of the galaxy, not the actual universe. Stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Someday we will be able to influence this world, to exploit the power of human will to harness light and perhaps even travel into the heavens. But I am getting ahead of myself. Yeah, probably about 600 and... Or about 500 and... Well, I, I don't know exactly when you NASA went to the moon. My world. Not until I have proof. Soon. Buonanotte, Ezio. Thank you. Awesome. So... Is that it? Huh. I wonder. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the end. The end of the, uh, DLC. Alrighty then. Uh, that was the Copernicus Conspiracies DLC for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I enjoyed it. It was a little extra gameplay. It was only like an hour or so long, but, I mean, it was free, so I can't really complain. So, anyway, that's the DLC. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.